Hey, look here, um, look. We from New York. My name is Ray Gibson, okay? Let's let's talk turkey. YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Wavy. I know this is my channel, Mr. Orchard your Beach. If you're new to the channel and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all the above. All right, before we get into this vid, do me a favor, let me get 400 likes on this joint. Appreciate it. Finally got me a uh, black pair of Tim's for yeah, yeah, you already know I got the black pair of tents. So here they go. We're going to go ahead and do a review on these joints. If y'all haven't seen my vlog, check out the vlog. You see what I went through to get these. these. This was no easy feat. I haven't had these joints in damn near 20 years. Word up. So boom, we go right here. Uh, black tents. Finally. <laughs> if y'all didn't know, I sacrificed a sturdier tongue. You see how this tongue right here is kind of like, you pretty much do what you want with it. <laughs> like that. Vice, this joint right here. You really gotta, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I, I did sacrifice that just to have like a, a more crispier on um, Tim, but you know, it is what it is. I did go through a lot for these, but this video, we're gonna talk about how to keep these joints clean. I'm gonna do a quick review, or I'm gonna do the review. Then I'm gonna tell you how to keep these joints clean, how to keep your uh, your jeans, you know, untarnished by this damn dye, because there is a lot of dye on these, like word up. And then we're gonna do this uh, quick lace up on foot. Get y'all up out of here. But anyway, yo, so um, boom, here we go. It's the um, Black Tim's right here, six inch joint. Uh, Say waterproof, but I'd never be outside in, in the rain in these joints. Oh no. Unless I'm in a car, you know, then I'll be in the rain. Oh, check you out. Let's take it to the sole right quick. Boom, you got your Black Timlin sole. Got all them ridges and grooves going on right there to keep the traction. You got your Timlin lettering in the middle as well as that Timlin tree. I do hear people, and let me know if you do this. People say that they put nails in the back of, in these um little holes right here just to make sure these joints don't wear. I've never done it, but I can see where you, yeah, you probably do that joint. Word. I'll just be, nah, I'll say I'll just be scared. I'll be stepping on. But anyway, uh, let's take it to the medial side. There's that two tone sole right here. Black going into, I say like a smoke gray. Always got to get the two tones, baby. Is that right? Now, this whole boot is black. The upper is black. It's a suede. Moving up to the upper, suede too. Black. Look at that movement. You see the movement? Hell yeah. Word. Moving on up to the top, you got your insulated section right here. Boom. Gotta have that too, or they the butt nakers. Word. You got your black metal eyelets on this side. And we're gonna take it to the lateral side, the side that gets all the wet. Same as the medial side, two-tone sole, black, then that all uh, like smoke gray, dark gray, whatever. The upper is all suede. You can see the movement, you see it. And you got your Timlin tree right here. Nice gloss type look, suede upper. Got that black insulation up here. Take it to the toe, all suede, leading all the way up to the tongue. There's that sturdy one, yeah. And as usual, I almost forget to mention the black laces. On the right boot, you got the black Timlin tag that I leave on there. Take it to the edge of the boot, pause. You got that two-tone sole, black and smoke gray. The upper's all black suede. Then you got that insulated cushion at the top. I'm not gonna pull out the, um, am I? Yeah, why not? Uh. Here go the insole right here. Draw an orange back here. Got the Timberland logo right there. And then like a wheat colorway right here. It's kind of split. I already talked about the laces. Um, On my wheats, I usually darken the joint, but this is kind of like a gloss. Unless I can find like a gloss joint, I'm, I'm leaving it just like this. Uh, they're going to stay just like that. Uh, I believe I can I can have these tins, depending on how the, um, the joint. And somebody did say about that tongue, uh, how to make them like stiff. It says spray it down with... Uh, like heavy starch. I'm thinking about it. I am thinking about it. I just need to catch that concept. Have anybody else heard about um, doing that? And as we're talking about spraying, ugh, let's go ahead and spray these joints down. We got them right here. Make sure you get all around that joint. Also, spraying the inside. Yeah, especially where the tongue is. But uh, I did notice, I remember on my last pair, I made the mistake, I used to wear like white socks even if I had like jeans and stuff and the dye would uh, like bleed onto it. So when you first, if you do got white socks, get you some black arm um, joints just for the first at least five to seven wears just so you don't get um, any of that, that dye on your, on, your, um, on your socks and especially not on your jeans. So if you're gonna be wearing light jeans like right away, just, you know, just chill. I'll probably end up not rocking a light pair of jeans, or like a real light pair of jeans, until like I've rocked like some black joint and kind of like made sure I got any of that damn dye that was gonna like separate or get held up in there. I just wanna um, make sure I, I'm, I'm not like for certain for certain, but I, I just don't want it to um, mess up my damn jeans. So uh, yeah, boom, so there we go. And what was the other thing I was gonna talk to you guys about? We're gonna do the, we already did the review. 
We did how to keep these joints clean. We um, wiped them down. I guess now we. Oh yeah, we're gonna um, do the lace up. So uh, after this, I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna do like a, a quick speed. We'll do the lace up. Give y'all a few looks on these joints. I'm probably just gonna wear these jeans right here and probably my dark gray joints. Give y'all a couple looks and then get y'all out of here. Uh, let me know, yo. A black Tim's the hardest Tim's the cop. You saw what I went through. I'm pretty glad I got them. I remember I was on the toss up. I was like, yo, am I gonna just get the anthracite foams or am I gonna get these two? And I was like, you know what? Can't never have too many Timberlands, you know what I'm saying? Word up. But anyway, yo, I'm about to get up out of here. Do me a favor, let me get 400 likes on this joint. Hey, if y'all got any type of um, tips on how y'all keep y'all, like the tongue sturdy. Pause. How you make sure like these joints don't bleed off. Leave them in the comments below. Uh, it does help people because, uh, you know what I'm saying, cats be, cats be checking out the comments and I appreciate everybody that, um, that does comment, likes, all that. Shout out to the Wave Mob. And I appreciate everybody that's been rocking me. I can assure you that. Follow me on that Snap. Follow me on that IG. Follow me on that Twitter. That Twitter B. <laughs> but that Snaps. It's your boy Wavy. You already know this is my channel, Mr. Watch Your Beach. Like I always like to say, see when I see you. So when I first get ready to lace these joints up, I always stretch the sides because I don't want them joints going up like a V. That's nasty. I make sure that the shoestrings are the same length. That's a must for me too. I skip every other loop. So you're going to work your way up, starting at the first set of holes. Then you're going to skip the next set. It's going to be looking like a little X. No Nas. <laughs> Once you go through there, you're going to readjust again. Make sure your laces are the exact same length. So it's like every other one until you get to the second to the top. Lace it through, adjust. And me, I just tie the ends. I don't know, um, y'all can do it y'all way. Some people say it look like a weed whacker on me. It works for me. And just for the hell of it, we're gonna do this again. I already got the, um, this side set up. We're gonna skip the second eyelet. Little X, know what? Skip that next set. Lace it through, adjust. Then you'll be right under the second to the last set of eyelets. Adjust. Then you're just gonna um, put that joint through. Put the other side through, tie them joints, and you mob. <laughs> Ow. My mother always told me I was born to be a winner. And on that very night, couldn't afford to eat a dinner. I'm forced to be a sinner, cause I will never starve again. I see my father sin and what he did, it never bothered him. I'm a part of him. I'm a made man. And I retire a giant just like stray hair. Even Malcolm went in and came out a great man And if he's resurrected, I'll be the first that he shakes hands with They say that I got a gift I say that I got a chip on my shoulder that's like a brick I say that I got a fifth on my holster that's like a bitch I finger fuck it and grip it and choke it until she trip I'm quite simply the strongest nigga to do it You came up in 04, the rain influenced your music I'm the heart of the streets, that's how I slaughter the beat And since I've been presidential, it seems I'm harder to reach I spit as sharp as a crease, I guess it's in my jeans though When it comes to this bread, niggas ain't never seen dope When it comes to this bread, niggas know that you're cream low Lactose intolerant, I clap your conglomerates That rock wallet shit, that kill you for a dollar shit School of hard knocks, all props and no scholarships I see my father slip in the cracks of the hardest bricks Life is a movie and truly I got the darkest script Analyze this, I'm Paul VD in the mix See my pops pass, I'm a gangster but I need a shrink Lefty Ruggiero blaring out of your stereo Your man is Donnie, hand me the time he stretch off the cereal Lefty Ruggiero blaring out of your stereo Your man is Donnie, hand me the time he scratch off the cereal